Not gonna lie, this week's novel is a banger. Well, that might be the wrong word, but it's one of my favorites. Today's light novel, web novel, falls under probably the slice of life category. It's not an isekai, there's no massive adventure or crazy strong protagonist meeting a ton of lovely ladies, but instead is a simple slice of life story about two adults in their 30s, about a rural northern nobleman from basically a winter wasteland meeting and falling in love with a woman who no man can match up to, known in the army as the Crimson Ego. This is a story about their tentative marriage and their daily life of hunting, gathering, talking to the villagers, and falling more in love with one another. Although this story has been fully fan translated, it has not yet received an official translation, so the title I'm about to say might be different if that ever comes out. This web novel is called The Snow Country Hunting Life of the Northern Nobleman and the Raptor Wife, or in Japanese, Hokuo Kizoku to Mokinzuma no Yukiguni Karigurashi. From what I know, there is a manga version, although I am not quite too familiar with it, I did however check it out a tiny bit, I have to say that it might be because the web novel illustrations are so ridiculously gorgeous that the manga version throws me for a loop because the style is incredibly different. I think roughly 90% of the story is also going through Ritzhard's thought process and the wonderful way he views the world, so I imagine trying to convert it into a manga style would make for a different experience. Still, it is there and you know. If novels aren't your style, there's always another medium to experience this lovely story in. While my recommendation is based entirely on the web novel, I will be using the manga to illustrate some points since the original source doesn't have too many illustrations. I will be the first to admit that Slice of Life is probably one of my favorite genres in general, and even though Hoku Kisoku is a Jose web novel, it still is probably one of my favorite stories in the Slice of Life genre. Before I get into the details of why I like this story, I'll quickly point out a couple of things that make this one stand out from any other. For one, this web novel is complete from beginning to end, as well as being fully translated. You might find it strange that this is the first thing I highlight, however when it comes to web novels, there is usually a good chance that either the original story never gets finished, or the fan translation or official translation never get fully done. Luckily, this isn't the case with Hoku wo Kizoku, so we get to see their lovely story from beginning to end, and the entire story is a fantastic ride all the way through. Secondly, for once, this isn't the type of romance story where the two characters are bumbling with each other and don't notice their feelings for one another because the plot would literally end once they do. Instead, the main character Ritzhard from the get-go immediately falls in love with the Lady of the Hour, Sieglund and proposes to her at the start of the novel. Rather than having to sit through a bunch of what ifs, the story can instead focus on the growing relationship between them, as well as the daily tribulations they face living in an incredibly beautiful but harsh winter wasteland. I'm also a big fan of the fact that the two main characters are actually adults, in their late 20s and early 30s, which is a far departure from the general protagonist's age of 15 to 22-ish. It's nice to see a story about adults rather than teenagers for once. Aside from being a more adult slice of life story, it also happens to be partly a cooking story, with plenty of time set aside for Ritzhard to introduce some delicious food, although I would say the focus is still more on the slice of life. Third, I think the setting is incredibly interesting. I don't know if the author is some sort of European otaku or something, or maybe they actually lived in a foreign country for some time, but the setting of Hoku Okizoku is super fun to learn about because it is a dramatic departure from most settings in Japanese light novels or web novels. Most light novels and web novels, if they're not taking place in Japan, they usually take place instead in a very generic western RPG-like setting where it's pretty much just like a video game area, like, oh, that's a medieval castle. This story instead is distinctly European, with enough detail and description that it gets the reader more interested in learning more about it. Finally, the story is just super heartwarming and adorable. Watching how Ritzhart and Sieglin truly bring happiness into each other's lives is just a joy to witness, as well as how their relationship slowly but surely changes all of those around them in small but significant ways. Seeing the world through not just Ritzhart's perspective, but Sieglin and even the other characters that make up their family of sorts, it really does bring out a smile seeing how these other characters view not just the growing relationship between the two main characters, but also the very different environments they live in. From Sieglin's family who finds Ritzhard to be a breath of fresh air, and honestly are just happy that Sieglin found someone perfect for herself, to Ritzhard's family who have mysteriously left him to fend for himself 
in the past decade or so in this winter wasteland and how that relationship changes once they come back. Not just them, several other characters show up as well, such as Tio Poron's family, members from a foreign indigenous tribe who now work under Ritzhard, with the head of the family, Teo Poron, being an insanely strong hunter who runs around this winter wasteland half naked, wearing the head of a bear that he's slain. There's also Iri and her family, who represent the diehard traditionist faction of the villagers, stubbornly cling to their old ways, and how their life changes when a foreigner comes into their lives. We learn more about all these characters, not just through the eyes of our main character, Ritzhard, but also through their eyes as well. Throughout the course of the story, the author does an excellent job of creating charming characters for the readers to fall in love with. While I would love to go through them one by one, for the sake of brevity, I will instead only focus on the man and woman of the hour, Ritzhard and Sieglind. As they are both nobos, of course they have long names that I'm going to butcher, and even more so than usual because this is a Romaji translation of an European name made up by a Japanese person in Japanese. Ritzhard Salonan Ravancha is a man known as the Snowman of the Borderlands by some, and a Snow Fairy by others. He is a man in his late 20s and is also the acting count of Levantret, a barren land that is covered in snow for half of a year. Ritzhard is a lovable, selfless, and direct man. Thanks to the whims of his careless father and mother who left on a journey, Ritzhard was forced to grow up in exceedingly lonely circumstances. For several years, he was left alone as a young adult, acting as a managed account for citizens who believe that his family is at fault for ruining their traditions. While Ritzhart seems like a simple airhead, he in actuality is a very capable hunter, educator, and cook. However, thanks to his self-sufficient, harsh lifestyle, he's also kind of a selfless workaholic. His life is changed when he finds someone willing to be with him in what he considers to be a barren wasteland. Sieglin's fury personality complements his soothing nature. Her constant help and assistance finally allows Ritzhard to act beyond just barely keeping him and his people afloat and instead pursue his own interests, as well as other ways to revitalize Levantret. More importantly than that, however, Sieglind offers Ritzhard the chance to care for someone else, to direct all of his love that he's been holding on to all this time. Sieglind von Wetten is the other main character of our story, known as the Crimson Ego and a military prodigy with a decorated history. At the age of 31, Sieglind is a dashing handsome soldier with women flocking all over her constantly. Thanks to her upbringing in a military-centric family, she grew up among brothers who see her as the manliest man and has only known life in the army. Probably due in no small part to this, Sieglin firmly believes she would never find a man who would fall in love with her. Of course, then comes Ritzhard who barges into her life and brings her into a completely new winter world. In a land where women are expected to wear dresses and be homemakers for their husband, Ritzhard and consequently Lavancha offers Sieglind a unique opportunity to instead live in a much different married life, one where all of her life up until now would be fully of use. Ritzhard is also the first one to see Sieglind not as a crimson ego, but as the woman he's fallen in love with, and his loving attention slowly but surely changes her life as well, finally able to find happiness in a way she never could have imagined before in her hometown. Honestly, if you're the type of person like me who enjoys relaxing, daily life tribulation kind of stories, this is probably one of my favorites hands down. I had a fantastic time watching Ritzhard and Sieglind learn about each other's cultures, all the while slowly falling more and more in love. It's incredibly refreshing to find a love story where the main character from the get-go says, I love you, marry me, and the heroine, instead of constantly running away or doing some weird pseudo-nonsense, just agrees. It's also great to see one about adults who need to deal with their own share of problems that aren't just school-related. If you enjoyed learning about another web novel, all the supportive like and subscribe buttons are there as always. Notification bell as well if you want to keep up to date on when the next one comes out. Not sure what I'll cover next, but hopefully it'll come out sooner than my last one. That'll be it for me, see you later, till next time.